The old mule here from Old South Barnes. If you're going to build a porch or a deck and you want to spice it up or kick it up a notch, come on out to the job site with me and let me show you how you can make a rounding corner on your next project. What we're doing on the corner of this deck off the back of our lives, the our customers have, has asked us to put a a rounding corner on here, something that they requested, and we're setting up to do that. And I just wanted to show you, quite frankly, how easy it is to do. But one of the things that's made this easier for us is the the geometry of this particular deck. We're coming out eight feet from the wall of the lodge out. We're just basically breaking this up in simple mathematics. What we've done is we've come four feet from the lodge out, and that is what this point of reference is right here. If you think about an imaginary corner right here, we have come four foot back in this direction uh, which would be the center of this post that we've already set. So in, in theory, with a little mathematic, we have measured from here over and made us a mark, and we've measured from here over and made us a mark, and we've got an intersection line right here that we have put a screw in for a nice little pivot point. Now we've let these two floor joists run wild and, and it's as simple as this. We hook the end of our tape measure over our pivot point back here and wherever it intersects at the measurement from there to here we hold our pencil on and we strike a line. So this is it's about as old school as you can get but by crackity it still works today. And if you, if you just notice uh, it just pivots on that and that gives us a perfect circle uh, based off of a four foot by four foot because this is a eight foot wide uh, deck. We take a simple speed square where we have our mark and we put it on it to find our degree. Now it's as simple as setting our saw to this degree and sawing straight down and we've got a nice end once we turn this corner. We do the same thing right here, find the degree, because these degrees will actually change. Uh, and if we had even another joist out here, if this was wider from the lodge, uh, every, every joist, every, every increment would change in degree. But that's how and the way we're going to cut these off. And then it's just a matter of, of taking a tube of tin and bending that around this corner to make it work and to make it flow.